Hey traders, this is Tosh Bradley. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club MIC community. Right now, we have a very special holiday discount sale going on for MIC members or anybody wanting to join. We have $200 off our annual yearly package and we have an unprecedented $1,000 off our lifetime package. And we are raising prices going into the new year. So if you want to take advantage of these discounts, they are only good and only available right now until December 31st. Take advantage. We will definitely, definitely be raising prices soon. So today we're going to be talking about, and kind of like the comments I was talking about, Corey's trade. Um, it's trading your game. That's what we're going to be talking about. All right, so Mama got run over by TCCO. I thought that was funny. Uh, so anyway, for, for those who, this is their first webinar, um, what I normally do is I split it up into sections. And over, like, I'm thinking about changing up the sections maybe after Christmas or for the new year, maybe get some new new sections in here. But uh, probably close out the year with this, this format because it's been, I, I, I've liked it so far. I know. Uh, let's start. So AMRX, uh, this was today. Um, and I actually, I kind of quit trading after the first hour. Um, I like to start working on my webinars on Thursday. And I really didn't want to get involved uh, with this one any further. I, I didn't feel, I didn't feel like buying it over five. Um, and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't especially sold on the short given the volume. But anyway, I saw a couple opportunities in the morning like I normally do. Uh, I got a nice lower high short at the open. Now, I, 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 I don't want to like not practice what I preach. And so when I was writing in here, I, I've gotten on the phone call a couple different times this week where I talk about like setup development. And when I talk to traders about like finding their setups that they like to trade, I have six setups. Like I, I literally have six, seven ish to eight. If you count, um, if you count like a large cap. So I have six main setups. And so I try to keep my main setups, like I try to label each trade here, the name of one of my setups. So, you know, I don't want to not practice what I preach, right? I preach that you should be able to name every single setup that you trade. Uh, right. TCCO, this was two days ago. Um, this is the, my trades in the morning on it. Um, and then I gave up on the day. Um, I, I initially tried a little washout long and I ripped the fuck out. I went for a long, like I, I should have gone for the first long, but I just like this stock was so volatile and it was one of those super, super, everyone's got their attention on its stocks. And I kind of didn't want to, I kind of wanted to let it like do its thing and kind of set the range for me, right? I wanted to let it like pick the range, like find the top, find the bottom. And I would trade off the established range. So I let it do its opening stuff. And I said, okay, there's seven up here and there's, and there's, you know, 550 down here, which kind of lines up with this six, you know, this sub six here. There's slippage, but this is the area where the support is. This is the area where the resistance is. So when we get a wash, I, you know, at this point, I'm going to short it up here and buy it down here. When we get a wash down here, I start to buy off of this support here. And like, honestly, like it pops up and I, I get stoked on it and then like it starts to wash and like no 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 this is this is so volatile I don't like I need to play this safe and I and I went the fuck out. <laughs> That's really good. How to make money and how, how to keep your money. Yeah, I, I'd have to agree. A lot of what like honestly, like I feel like I'm kind of like so boring in chat because like it feels like every time I talk about something, I'm like, oh, I'm not trading that. I'm not trading that. Like, no, I don't like this for that reason. Like, I feel like I'm really boring in the, in the... I don't like doing it. So it's, it's more of a, it's more of a, I think it's probably superstitious for me now, but like whenever I, like whenever I would do it day to day, like I, I did it day to day for a long time. And like every single day I would be thinking about the previous day. Like, oh, like I, I don't like putting it in. I really don't like putting it in. Like, like I'm either going to be like, like if I, if I put in, it doesn't matter if I'm red or green. If I put in red, I'm like, oh, I'm red. Like I need to make it back. Or like if I, if I, if it's like green, 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 I'm like, oh my gosh, like don't have a red day. Don't have a red day. Like I just don't like thinking about it day after day after day. I prefer to like not think about it for like a week or a month. And I, I it's, it's turned into a month. I, I like doing it on, on a monthly basis. And that's just like, that's just for, for, 
from my up here. I, I, I calculate, I, I keep track of locates over here. Um, how would you differentiate between fear of being wrong versus fear of losing? Oh, no, 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 no. They're, they're both. Oh, sorry. No, those are the same. Fear of losing money and fear of being wrong are different. And, and the, the way you can isolate it, uh, that's, that's not really what you ask to differentiate, but the way you isolate that is attempt to go in 10 shares on a trade idea that you have. If you can't pull the trigger on 10 shares, it, it's not money you're afraid of losing. It's ego points. That's how you. That's how you. That's how you differentiate it in your mind. If if you're afraid of losing money or afraid of being wrong, but fear of being wrong and fear of losing, like in general, it's how how's a good way to tell if you're a long bias trader versus a short bias trader? What's slapping you in the face, bro? Like what's slapping you in the face? Like when you're when you watch when you when you don't have a plan to trade and you see stocks that are going up, what's your natural instinct? If you had to, if you had to make a bet, what do you find yourself looking for? Are you looking at stocks and being like, oh man, like, oh, I knew that one was going to go up. Is that what you're saying? Or are you saying, dude, I, I, I knew that was going to tank. Like that's kind of like that right there. Like the, the, the stuff that slaps you in the face, that's how you tell it. is like, you know, like what tends to be what you see. When, when you're when you're looking for stocks, like you find yourself saying, "I knew that was gonna tank," or "If only I had shares," or it's like, "Man, why didn't I long?" Like, like, like I knew that's the dip. Like, that's how you tell. It's just whatever slaps you in the face. Um, say if you want. Say if you wanted to. Say if you wanted to scale into a line and risk a pivot high up on the chart, and the closest spot you could risk was twenty cents away. Well, it depends on the range of the stock. That might not be too bad. Um, and you're okay risking $200 and your max size is 1k. So hmm, your max size is dependent on how much you want to risk. You don't have a max size and have a max risk. You have a max risk that kind of tells you what your max size is. Anyway, if you cover 25% on the next line down and recycle that with 25% until the line broke down, would you then double your position bring you? Yeah, so that's kind of what I talk about in the recycling web webinar. This is how aggressive you want to be. If you want to be really aggressive and stick to that full $200 risk, you can go big like that. And that's a really aggressive trading style, right? I'm typically not that aggressive, and, but that's just because normally the setup changes a little bit. Like if you get a whole lot of recycles, maybe it's consolidating a little bit too much and maybe I don't want to have that much full risk on anymore like it, it all depends on the it's hard to, to do this one but yeah if you want to be aggressive I, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that you know what i'm saying like the, the point is like yeah i guess the, the the part of the question was kind of broken in the first sentence like you don't have a max size so it's not okay to it is okay to go over the max i guess intended size as long as you're not going over max risk yeah so like, yeah, it's not like you can be like, oh, my max size is a hundred, is a thousand, but you know, I've locked in gains and I still want to risk 200 bucks. You know, I'm still willing to risk 200 bucks, even though I've locked some in. That's very difficult for a trader to do. You got to be really aggressive to do that. Um, yeah, that's, that's too aggressive for most because part of trading is locking in money. Like you, you want to lock in some money. So it's like, it, it, it's very difficult to, um, once you've eliminated risk from the trade to put it back on. Now, I think in certain scenarios, you should do that. And, and maybe not put full risk back on, but you don't necessarily have to cap the trade at a win. You can still be okay with a break even trade and keep some risk on the trade. If it's a good setup, you wanna capitalize, keep, the more you keep the risk on, the more reward you're gonna make, right? Like if you wanna just eliminate the risk by taking off the size, you can do that, but you know, like by taking it out of the pot, you're not you're not able to to make that either. Um, yeah, so I think that that breaks it. Um, M I M I C is great because I found a group with you guys. Yep, um, that longs every day. That's kind of yeah. 
Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.